Hi and welcome to Graphics Infotainment. Today's topic is going to be this, this one. Yes, it's about the file size error. Most of you would have noticed that whenever you submit a vector, even if in case the document size is let's say more than four megapixels, still Shutterstock would give you an error that the artwork and not your file size should be above four megapixels. This simply means is that a document size with the artwork can go beyond let's say 6 MB or maybe 8 MB but the artwork in itself is not crossing the benchmark of 4 megapixels. So let's see how we can cope up with this kind of a situation. Let's jump straight into it. Now I'm in the Adobe Illustrator program and I'll choose the file size as to be Obviously, the video name is file size error on Shutterstock, so I'll name it as file size error. My example is going to be a line drawing. So I'll keep it a square document. 1080 by 1080 is good to go in the beginning because we're going to change the file size entirely once we are in the program. So I'll hit OK. So here is what I'm going to do. As promised, I'm only going to keep it as just a simple line drawing. So I'll start with an ellipse and try to make it as center as possible. I'm dragging my left mouse click while holding shift. And then I'll stretch it again towards the top. Let's, by hitting V, I'll just make it more center. If you're not able to do so, just select it. And from this side, you can horizontally align it and then you can vertically align it on the center too. So you don't have to eyeball it. A simple circle is not something that people would, you know, download it. It doesn't make sense for anybody to download a simple circle. They can easily draw it in any program, even they don't even need to learn it. So I'll just select the entire thing and I'll go to the effect, distort and transform and I'll select zigzag. My size should be 18 and ridges per segment can be 25 and the moment I put it like this and you can see the pattern has emerged. This would make more sense for somebody to download, especially people who don't have an idea on graphic softwares, how they work. I'll make it smooth and I can probably decrease the segments to maybe 18 and hit Okay, this is a shape and shape has a fill in color in it, which is white. I will select this and choose no color instead. Then I click on it. Now I'll select my shape again. Go to the object, transform, transform each. I'm going to rotate it at an angle of uh, let's say 12, something that can divide 360 as whole. It could be 18 also, it could be 12, it could be 15. It could be six, three, four. I think you've got the idea by now. And then I'll select a copy here. But by hitting 12 degrees, it's posted right above the previous pattern. So I think 18 should be good to go and I'll put hit copy. And now I'll press Control D for a few times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have a pattern on the border of a circular ring. This is something that could be used by many people as a, you know, I don't know. Most of the times when I design something, I simply don't have an idea how people will use it, but I leave it on them. This is one of my solutions. If you have an idea, just go ahead with it. You'll never be able to gaze as to how people can use it because people in the graphic world are built it. They will have endless uses for this very simple graphic that you made. I'm going to make the changes in the file size. Now I'll go to the artboard. The keyboard shortcut is shift plus O. This is 540 pixels by 540 pixels document. I'll change it to 5000 pixels by 5000 pixels. 1080, I'll just multiply it by three. I think it should be like three. 240, 3240 and 3240 and then I'll select H which gives me a move tool 
and I'll bring the document back into the center. Minimize the document with V, I'll select it back. Then press shift, mouse, left click and drag it to the top left corner at the bottom right corner. Before I upload anything on Shutterstock, this is my checklist. I always go and ungroup them. So in this document, I don't have anything which is grouped. Otherwise, I would go and ungroup it a couple of times and then expand appearance and then hit expand, expand appearance and then expand. Now my document should be ready to go on Shutterstock and it should be easily accepted at the very first go. Let's give it a try. Before that, I should tell you this. I'm using Adobe 2020, the latest version. So I'll save it in the software format that I hold. And uh, in the original size, everything original, the format is also original and I'm not going to change anything. Save Illustrator 2020 and this. Now I've got my document as it is. It is in editable format. But for Shutterstock, I'll have to save a copy as an EPS format. I believe EPS stands for Elongated Post Script. I think that's the way they would uh, get all the mathematical information, how this graphic was stored, so that no distortion happens if they try to uh, increase the size of the document. So I'll go and uh, save it as this BS document and save. Before I finish with the saving of this document, I'll select the version Illustrator 8. Now Shutterstock suggests that Illustrator 10 and Illustrator 8 both are welcome, but for some reason, I've had bad experience by saving the document in Illustrator 10 format. So I am habitual and comfortable using Illustrator 8. I'll keep all the other settings as it is. You can take a screenshot of this window and use them. If in case you have a different setting, you can change it back to this one. Save. Then I'll go back to Shutterstock, upload, select multiple files. If in case you're having a file size error, it will be rejected at this very stage. You don't need to submit your file completely. So once, you, once you're trying to upload it, it will give you a primary error that this is not a valid file size. Refresh it now. So now you can see that this has been accepted as a valid file size. The problem is solved. Keep a tab on my channel, subscribe the channel and push on the notifications. You'll get the best that you can do on Shutterstock. You can check my channel. There is plenty of stuff that can help you get across and becoming an efficient seller on Shutterstock.